In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set a startup macro that will fire every time you open your show file. This is a really useful feature, and after I show you how to do it, we'll talk about some creative use cases for when you might wanna set specific startup macros, but for now, let's jump over into MA and I'll show you how to do it. So here I have the command screen of my default show file that I use for everything from festivals to clubs to corporate shows. And this screen we're looking at right here with this uh, macro window in it, it's referred to as screen one. And I'm gonna be showing you everything about this process on screen one. Uh, but if you're on an actual console, uh, obviously you can do this on any of the screens. There are a couple of ways to get into the setup menu. You can either click on this little soft key that says setup, or you can actually type in to the command line setup, and that will bring us into the setup menu. And since the startup macro is a function of the show file, we will go over into the show file tab and go down to playback and MIB or move in black timing. We'll talk about MIB and uh, manual MIB in a different video, but let's pop over into playback and MIB timing and you will see we have some options here. One of which is a, uh, a option that says startup. If we click on this empty green box, we get <laughs> one of these little pop-up windows um, that comes up. If you click on this little plus, you can get a full keyboard. If you're working on a touchscreen or you don't have access to a keyboard, say you're on like an MA2 Ultralight, uh, which doesn't have a keyboard or a backup power supply or motorized faders, um, you can type in stuff using that little plus on there. And all this edit startup window is, is a command line. Um, you can do anything that you could think of to do in the normal command line, um, you can put that in here. So I guess theoretically you could run a whole show um, off of the startup command, which is kind of interesting to think about. Now this startup line isn't considered a macro per se, but you can trigger macros with it. You can also dump variables and all other sorts of stuff into this line. Let's keep it simple for our first example. Let's use the command login as our, uh, our startup command. So now if I go and save this show, because remember, if I loaded this show without saving, that startup macro wouldn't be in that show file. We're gonna go to load show, and I'm gonna load the show, and I'm prompted with a login page because uh, that first command that fired once the show file opened was login, which is actually kind of uh, also logging you out at the same time. Uh, if you log out, if you just use the phrase log out, it'll just sign you in as the guest account. So I'll go ahead and log back in as administrator because that is the user and user profile that I have on my master show file. I used to mess around with having like cool login pages and stuff, but I found that it um, actually slowed me down when I needed to troubleshoot some things. So I have have since switched back over to having just the default, which is admin, uh, excuse me, administrator as the name, and then the password is admin. All right, so now we're back in, and I'm gonna go ahead and delete that from our startup line here, and resave the file. Okay, you guys are with me so far? Okay, good, let's, uh, let's do something else with this. So we're back on my command screen here, and I have uh, this macro window that has no macros in it. Um, I can bump over here, these are my programming macros, I've got an MATRIX window, um, but let's go ahead and create a new macro called startup. So to do that, I just right clicked on this empty macro. In this case, it's 291, but it could be whatever. And I'm not gonna put anything in here, no lines of command. I'm just going to label it as startup. And in the first line, we're just gonna type in login. Now the reason I'm doing this is because, as I mentioned before, if we pop back up over into setup, playback and MIB timing, and under the startup command, instead of typing login or just typing a string of text that are our command, we can actually just fire that startup macro by saying macro startup. Uh, capitalization doesn't matter in um, MA pool items. 
So now when the show file is loaded, it will search for a macro called startup and it will run that macro. You'll also notice that I did not need to type go macro startup, it's just macro startup. Go is kind of a, re a redundant thing when you're calling macros. Um, so let's go ahead and save the show and then load the show. And we can see we have effectively the same thing and I can log back, log, log back in as administrator. So, okay, why would I do that? That just seems like an extra step, right? But the beauty of this is now you can go into just this startup macro without having to go into setup, without having to type out um, one big long line of code. You can actually just edit only the startup macro. And what you put in this startup macro in a file is something that you have to decide for who's using the file and where the file is being used, like what kind of show. For example, if you were working in a nightclub, um, you might wanna have a show file that when you start it, it automatically turns everything off that was running in the show file the last time it was saved, kind of resets everything to default, turns off all playbacks and lamps on the fixtures. That way you just have one button to load the show file and then it'll be off and running. I used to do this at Q Nightclub. Um, I had a startup macro written that would reset all the fixtures a couple of times because we had some dirty sensors and some uh, motors that weren't exactly on point. So it was helpful to reset two or three times. So after about a minute of resetting, um, it would also strike the lamps and then it would uh, fade into a startup look. And it was the same look pretty much every night. We had four special nights, so you could actually decide which, uh, which walk-in look you would want to have when you started the console. So that's just one way that you could be a little more creative with your startup macro. Another fun thing you could do is you could also prompt the user uh, to ask whether or not you want to run the startup macro uh, when the show file runs. Here's how you would do that. So the first line of our startup macro is going to be in parentheses. And I'll explain why in a second. And we just wanna put parentheses run startup macro, question mark. When we put any sort of text string in parentheses, that's going to create a dialog box that pops up when it's run. So for example, if I just hit this test line button, uh, it's just gonna test macro line one, and we can see right here, pops up with a uh, little window that says run startup macro, question mark. Um, and you either just hit enter to continue to the next line, that's the, the dialog box also kind of pauses the macro. So if you want to pause a macro and kind of wait for a user to input either a text string or just hit enter, uh, that's how you do that. And so I'm gonna actually edit this to be a little more clear. Run startup macro, escape equals cancel. And then enter equals run. So now when I hit test line, it's gonna ask me, run startup macro, escape equals cancel. And then um, the dialog box is a little too small to actually see the full text. So I'm going to abbreviate this. So I'm gonna just do startup macro question mark or start macro. And that should be enough. Yeah, so that's enough to fit in our dialog box. And then we could have line two be logging. All right, so let's give that a shot. Let's save the show file and then load it right back up. So now we're prompted as soon as the show file starts, start macro, escape is cancel, enter is run. So canceling it would just be hitting this X um, or if we just hit enter, then we're presented with the login page. So there you have it. That is the long and the short of how to run startup macros on the MA2 ecosystem. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. And if you have any questions that have been like itching you in the, in the back of the neck, like how do I do this? Um, I really love reading all the questions people come up with both in the comments on my Instagram, Snapchat, and then on all of the MA Lighting Facebook groups that I'm a part of. That's where I get a lot of these um, questions that I'm gonna be going through in the next couple of videos here. 
I figured these kind of shorter format videos with really to the point um, topics would be something you might be interested in. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch it. I hope you learned something. And if you're interested, uh, not necessary by any means whatsoever, the link to my Patreon is down below. I offer some perks like access to this show file that um, I use on every show, um, behind the scenes photos, videos, things like that, sample plots from shows that I've done. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.